Greetings, in this video I have another five awesome App Lab games for you to try out. Some are free, some are paid, hopefully I've got one for everyone. If you don't find what you're looking for, however, I do have other parts to this series. Just check the links in the description below to find the other parts, which will include some other awesome App Lab games that you might be interested in. Now, before we get into it, I have a free game code to give away. If you follow my channel, you remember in my previous video, I checked out The Secret of Retropolis. This is a point and click story driven App Lab game. And I gave away a code to one lucky winner who commented on that video. Now, the winner of that code is shown on the screen right here. So if you are the winner, congratulations, you'll be receiving your code soon. Now, if you entered the competition but didn't win a code this time around, do not worry because there will be many, many more opportunities to win free game codes in the future. In fact, I'm working with Derek from VR Dynamite right now on the website vrdynamite.com to provide many more opportunities for free game codes to give away. So if you are interested in these kinds of competitions, then make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Make sure you go over to subscribe from, to Derek from VR Dynamite's YouTube channel and keep your eye on the website because we will be announcing something fairly soon as to how you can be in with more chances of winning free game codes. Now don't forget, if this is content you enjoy, it really helps me out if you hit that like button below, as it helps me know if this is kind of stuff that you really want to watch. Also, if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy the stuff coming out of this channel, and you want to be kept up to date with the latest Oculus Quest news and reviews, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. Okay, well now with that all out of the way, let's check out five awesome free and paid App Lab games you can get right now for your Oculus Quest. So this is Dead Effect 2. It's a pretty decent shooter with a few minor points that I'm going to explain at the end. But first let's explain what this game is. It's a first person shooter with some pretty strong RPG elements that allow you to upgrade yourself with these cybernetic implants. And it has these strong RPG components that separates it out from other first person shooter games on the quest. So these RPG components allow you to do things like upgrade your weapons or upgrade your cybernetic implants to give you special attacks. Anyway, enough of that, how does it play? Well, as you can see, for the Oculus Quest 2, it actually looks pretty nice. There's also a decent bit of background story there as well. One of the strongest selling points for this game is that there is about 10 hours or so of content here, which is quite a lot, particularly for an Oculus Quest game. There's also a decent variety of weapons and enemies. You even get to choose your own character at the beginning, and each character has different abilities. So if you do like your first person shooters, chances are you'll enjoy this one. This is definitely one of the best shooters on App Lab right now. This game does have its drawbacks however. The level design for one is fairly weak. Also, it doesn't necessarily make the best use of VR at times. For example, reloading the guns is all done automatically. It'd be great to have a manual reload feature. And there are a few bugs here that in all likelihood are never going to get fixed. These same bugs exist in the PC VR version and that was made all the way back in 2017. So if it hasn't been fixed now, it's not going to be fixed at all, I would say. For example, I encountered a bug you can see right here at the end of the second level where I was stuck in crouch mode and no matter what I did, I couldn't get out of it. It was only when I completed the level that it put me back to full height. Um, crouch, let's turn it off. Okay, so hopefully I'll be standing now. Nope. So next we have Squingle. This is a unique puzzle game where you guide around a glowing ball or a couple of glowing balls and you do that using your hand and the motion controller and you guide it through these series of translucent tubes in order to get to the goal, which is another giant glowing ball. And you've got to do all of this without breaking the translucent tube walls. You can't just be moving your balls anywhere you like, willy-nilly all over the place. Because if you break those tube walls, then you have to go back to your last saved checkpoint. So you have to be really careful where you're placing your balls. Okay, enough of the ball innuendos, but seriously, this is a really fun, relaxing and challenging game. Swingle also has some interesting obstacles to keep it challenging. For example, sometimes when you have two glowing balls, they rotate continuously. And you have to wait until they reach the right orientation before you bring them through the translucent tubes. Otherwise, you risk breaking the tube and having to restart over. 
There are also competitive leaderboards and achievements, and you get to challenge your own ghost from your fastest run. So if you are into speed running, then you might find this enjoyable too. It also features a pretty nice relaxing backing soundtrack. And there are a hundred handcrafted levels. Now that might sound like a lot, but some of these levels are over pretty quickly. I was doing some of them in a matter of seconds. But even when you complete all of those levels, there is a ton of replayability here. As you need to score three out of three points for each level, you might also enjoy competing online to get the fastest time possible. But just remember, this is a slow paced and relaxed game. You really have to be in the mood for a game like this or enjoy games like this. Otherwise you could find it a little boring. Now the next game is a game I've just completed recently, it's called The Secret of Retropolis. The visuals and the animations were all done using Oculus Quill. And what it is, is a story driven point and click adventure done in a similar style to the old LucasArts games. Set in this robot world where humans no longer inhabit the earth and the earth is instead populated by robots. You play the role of a private investigator who's tasked with going after this gem that has been stolen from one of your clients. Now the story contains plenty of humour, and while it didn't have me belly laughing, it did make me chuckle here and there, and I did like the light-hearted kind of storyline. All the private investigators in all of Metropolis, she had to walk into mine. Is it because I'm the only robot stupid enough to work as a PI in this city? I can't remember. I'm drunk right now. <laughs> One of the benchmarks as well of a good story, in my opinion, is making you invest in the characters, making you care what happens to them. And at the end, I can honestly say I felt a connection to the story and the robot characters in it. The puzzles were clever and were similar in some ways to the old point and click adventure games, but for me they were a bit on the easier side. That being said, there were a couple of head scratches in there that had me stumped for a little while. The experience also lasted me about one to two hours. There is an alternate ending there that does help extend things out a little bit, but it is on the shorter side too. However, I think the devs here have accomplished something that many of the larger studios with bigger budgets fail to do. But if you are a fan of those point and click adventures, if you do like a good narrative driven game, then I think you'll find that Secret of Retropolis is a charming little adventure that will draw you into its own unique funny world and find a special place in your heart. It's carbon steel, not for someone of your size. So this game is really unique and exciting, it's completely free and it's a game that I think every quest user needs to try. It's a fully room scale game, that means you don't teleport anywhere, you don't use a thumbstick, you use your actual legs to move around everywhere. To play this one you need a bit of space, you need at least 1.5 by 1.5 meters or 4.9 by 4.9 feet worth of play space and I would say you need even more than that to have a good experience. So apologies for my recording here, my studio wasn't actually big enough to have the green screen behind me while I was recording it, so I kind of had to make do. So how this game works is by having procedurally generated environments. So what it does is it maps the VR environment within your play space. So whenever you're about to step outside your play space, it will generate, say, a corridor that will turn you 180 so you don't actually ever step outside your play space, but are still able to continuously walk within the VR environment. Now there are a few game modes here, I won't go through them all, but my favourites have to be the tower where you have a time limit and you have to reach the top of the tower avoiding traps as you go. And the other game mode I absolutely love is the pyramid. In this game mode you explore an Egyptian pyramid solving puzzles and avoiding traps as you go. You basically get to be Indiana Jones or Lara Croft in virtual reality and who doesn't want to do that? To be able to physically walk throughout an entire VR game brings a whole new level of realism and immersion and is something that I think every quest owner has to try. Now like I say the only real downside to this game is that you do need a bit of space but if you do have the space to do this, even if you have to make a bit of space to clear some furniture out of the way just to play this game, it is well worth it. Ah! 
Next up we have Gun Raiders. So you see the score of Gun Raiders, it has almost 5 stars out of 271 ratings, which says it all really. Gun Raiders is a free to play VR shooter. Now this is a multiplayer tournament shooter experience with four different modes. There's assault mode where you have to raid the enemy base and defend your own base in order to score points. There is control which is a basically a control the point, control the territory kind of deathmatch mode. Then there is free for all which is basically what it says. You all have to attack each other and the one with the highest kill count wins. And then there's team deathmatch. Now this game is currently in beta and is currently free. Now whether it will remain free once it comes out of beta, I'm not 100% sure. But at the moment, even in its beta stage, it is fairly polished. Now there are some bugs, for example, I played with Derek from VR Dynamite and we noticed when you open the menu button on the Quest controller, it crashed for both of us. So there are some bugs which is to be expected but for the most part it is definitely playable. You get a bunch of different weapons from grenade launchers to miniguns and shotguns and pistols. It also has some nice features like manual reloading as well as a jetpack. Now I've played paid multiplayer shooters like Last Nauts and I've got to say I had just as much fun in Gun Raiders as I did in Last Nauts and Gun Raiders is completely free. However, there was one major thing that was quite annoying and that is this. Great <laughs> thumbstick, yes. I don't get it. You. Fuck you! It's mine! Let me have it! You're so- you're so- you're so low! <laughs> Fuck you, Billy! So you can mute people all together, or you can mute people on the other team, but you'll probably likely still get some annoying people over the chat that is going to perhaps ruin your experience for you, unfortunately. With Last Nauts, you can mute people individually. With Gun Raiders, you cannot. So, just bear that in mind. So what do you think of that list? Are there any you think need to be added? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Remember to check out the previous parts of this series where I also look at some other awesome App Lab and SideQuest titles that you might be interested in. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.